I have some new tour dates to tell you about. Uh, we've just added a third show over there in Auckland, New Zealand on February 24. We've also added a second show in Brisbane in the Australia on March 1. And second shows were also added in Sydney, Melbourne, and Gold Coast um, in the Australia with limited tickets remaining. We also have limited tickets remaining in Charlottesville, State College, PA, Syracuse, New York, and Amherst, Massachusetts. All tickets are available at theovon.com slash T-O-U-R. And if, if you're going to secondary sites and stuff and they're real expensive, just wait. We'll come back around and, um, and yeah, I just don't want you wasting or, or just, I appreciate it, but I don't want you overspending. Thank you guys very much for all your support. Love you. We made it. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Um, happy holidays to you. If you don't celebrate Christmas, some people don't, or they celebrate it, but they don't care about Jesus or whatever, or, you know, they don't, you know, I don't care if you make, some people celebrate Lloyd Christmas and that's fine too. Um, you know, it's whoever your deity is, people have different deities and, uh, leaders. Some people love, um, you know, uh, Jesus. Some people love, um, Buddha, um, whatever, you know what I'm saying? There's different, uh, deities that people believe in. Papa John, some people, two mediums. And a, a two liter of Sprite is their Lord and Savior. D people, people have different things that they love. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, here we are. <sighs> I can't believe we made it this far, man. We're traveling into the future. It's the end of 2023. Time is keeps on ticking. Into the future. I'm going to play a couple little Christmas tunes. This is how I do it this time of year. Some of y'all know that. Let's hear a couple of little. Yeah, that's very romantic kind of or soft very ICU Christmas almost if somebody's in ICU you might play this while you bottle feed them you're gonna be okay you're gonna be okay Ronnie just drink you some of this milk buddy drink you some of this milk Yeah, that has a very ICU vibe, I think. You're going to be fine, Ronnie. Get you some of this milk, Ronnie. Get you a little sip of it. Here's another one. Um, that one was called uh, A Christmas Miracle by One Man Quartet over there. And I don't know where that's from or something. It sounds like some prison shit. It sounds like some whites in prison did it. Or some Swedes in prison put that. Together, beautiful track there. We got something right here. It's from Paris for Christmas, it's called. A lot of bagpipes up in that one, huh? It's a little too Irish for it's a little too bag, but a little too Irish for me. You know, it's like uh, just just molest me, father, and quit playing the tunes. You know, I, I'll let you touch me if you quit playing the bagpipes there, Donnie. I'll let you touch my. Oh, uh, what do we else we got here? That was by of North, and here's another one. Oh yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. 
God, I like this, baby. Damn, come on. I'll lick my lips. I'll lick your lips. Every Christmas, baby. My God, baby, that's what gets me going, baby. Santa Claus is packing the prayer. I want to just. Making sure you've been behaving okay. Mm hmm. I just want to take your titties off your body and just Every put them into my mouth, baby girl. Love me, Lord. That's a beautiful track right there. And that is by Stir Zetterberg. Over there, that's called Merry Christmas, Baby by Stir. Sturry, sorry, Sturry Zetterberg out there. And here's another one we got right here. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is like you're pushing a senior citizen uphill in a wheelchair, kind of. Don't worry, Pop. We'll get you there. Don't worry, Pop. Just keep your feet off the ground, Pop. We're going to keep pushing ya. Something very romantic about that one right there. That's called Going Home for Christmas. That's Home for the Holidays. Over there. We got this one right here. Another one. Oh, oh, oh. No, that's that urban Christmas, baby. Come on, huh? Come on, Santa. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, Santa here. Come on, now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Santa, Santa, he out there. Santa, he in the streets. Santa, he in the streets. Santa, ski, Santa, he doing drive-by gifting. Santa, he cooking chicken. Santa, Santa, welcome to Atlanta. Santa, welcome to Atlanta. Santa. And he got his, all his L's over there. T.I. one of them. You know that. You know that, bro. T.I. La Boosie. He at the front of the sleigh. Boosie, baby. He, 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 look, he might not even take you. Boosie take you wherever the fuck he want to take everybody, bro. Your Santa be like, damn, what the fuck? What we doing down here? We down here in Baton Rouge, baby. We down here in Scotlandville, baby. What? Boosie done took us off track, baby. Wipe me down. Oh, that's Christmas, baby. Well, you know, I like to play a little bit of the Christmas tunes in the beginning there off of Epidemic Sound. They just, and I don't work for Epidemic Sound. They just, it's a place you can go look and they have different just pieces of music and sounds and you can just go on through them. But that was Magic Day by Loving Caliber. And I love that, man. I would love to be able to have the experience of having different, uh, ethnicity Christmases, you know, get you a little Chinese Christmas, baby, get you a little, you know, pork fried reindeer or whatever, get you a little cut of that, you know, get you some bok choy on some damn fucking grilled panda or whatever they, they eat over there. Merry Christmas. That's what I'm trying to say. Sorry. Stringing up these lights. I don't know if you remember some of the Christmas sound music they had over the years. That was the thing that got me sometimes. Just the different sounds, you know. And the first day of Christmas. I don't know if anybody remembers that when uh, my true love gave to me five onion rings. That shit was all like. That was fun. Like, I remember listening to that. That was always something fun to do with the family, you know. On the birthday, I grab my breath, stringing up these lights. <laughs> Christmas. Blah. Praise God, baby. Jesus is born. 
Jesus is born away in a manger, no crib for a bed. Dude, that's a tra- Christmas music can be a trap. It'll make you think you can sing. That's the only problem. It'll make you think, you know. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Christmas music will do it. Um, Merry Christmas to everybody. Thank you for uh, being a part of my universe. Sorry if I seem a little bit uh, all over the place. I'm off my, I got off my medication about 11 days ago. And um, so I just, you know, I noticed that even when I was talking with Kat Von D, I was just, uh, I felt it was hard for me to listen a little bit. I was just, I felt kind of um, erratic, you know, or not homo erratic, just just all over the place. Yeah. And uh, I got a buddy that's homo erratic. That dude, he's all over the place, bro. And he's also hunting a little bit of that dude meat. You feel me? That freaking Christmas stick, baby. You know what I'm saying, boy? He hunting a little bit of that winter front rudder, baby. You know what I'm talking about? That Wayne, our boy. Praise God. Shout out to everybody that's gay and uh, everything. Gay, Chinese, baby, lesbian, everything. Baby, we love you guys. And, and, uh, Black, everybody, European, I'm just, you know, we all are coexisting here in the universe, and um, and I'm excited to see us do that even better as time goes forward. Underneath the Christmas tree. Yeah, that was Vince Vance and the Valiants. I like them. Or else, though, Silver Bell. Stringing up these lights. Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm that we're hitting the end of the year. Uh, the only the only guy that's got a lot left to do this year usually is you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, boy, Santa Claus, son. Everybody this year getting all uh, Ozempic. That's what Santa's just, Santa's been compromised, bro. I heard it's just a dude just with a sleigh full of Ozempic now. That's what I heard. It's just some fucking white dude with a sleigh full of Ozempic, bro. And they got, see, I heard they paid up, you know, uh, Big Pharma paid the North Pole enough. They off work this year. So you just got, you know, it's just going to be a Zempic dealer. And people's on Ozempic. That's. Bro, that's that fat crack. That's what people calling it. That fat cane, baby. People on Ozempic. You people lose. You'll meet a dude. He lost eleven hundred pounds, bro, in forty five minutes. The times have changed, man. It's a lean Christmas, man. It's just gonna be a couple big farmer reps, uh, just hum- just humming, uh injectables out of a damn Cessna all around the world, man. Yeah, I don't, and that just the, I don't know if, if uh, Ozempic seems safe, man. You'll see somebody, they're like, yeah, I'm 38 years old and uh, I'm down to 55 pounds. Yeah, thank God. I can fit into a lot of my same clothes I wore in fourth grade. Yeah, my, my skin makes a weird noise when I smile, but other than that, man, I'm doing... Great. They start fucking glitching. They just start, you know, they're like, oh, I'm doing great. I, I weigh seven pounds. Uh, 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 I can't remember who I am. My resting heart rate is two. But I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm I'm doing well. I'm I'm on a blah blah blah. 
And then they start burping. You ever talk to that Ozempic user? You start talking to them and they just... They just start blowing bubbles. It's like some... You know, some you do, you'll be talking to an Ozempic user, they'll just fucking eat a bug that flew by. You're like, what the fuck? And then just the side effects, bruh, some Ozempic or Ozempians or whatever they call them, these motherfuckers, they got some side effects, bro. They're like, I can't close my eyes or I will shit myself. Uh, they're like, I can't breathe anymore, but I'm doing good. I lost 46 pounds. I'm going to heaven. You're like, what the fuck? Chill out, Melissa. You need a fucking little, you need a smoothie, Melissa. You're fucking losing your shit. People are shooting up in their cars at lunch. And no shade there, man. I'm, I, I'm, um, I'm just clowning. I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings there, but. Damn, fine. Bells will be ringing. Mm. I can't bend my knees anymore. Every dream I have has Katy Perry in it. But I'm doing better than ever. Can somebody close my eyes for me so I can get some rest? I ain't losing my mind. I try to jump out a window to take my own life, but I only weigh 17 ounces. So I just floated back down to Earth. Thank you, Ozempic. Has anyone seen my children? But then you have the alternate guy. You have the guy who's like, man, fuck Ozempic doesn't even fucking work. You know, I've t you know, I've been on the ship for two years. I gained a hundred pounds, man. I gained a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred hot, 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 nut, nut pounds, man. You know, and then a guy will blame his wife. My wife keeps fucking shooting the shit into me. And I'm fucking, you know. And then the guy will lick his lips for like 70 minutes. You know, and then pull a fucking beautiful little gum drop out from under his tongue or something. Or he'll keep a damn uh, butt of scotch up in his mouth. And that he'd been sucking on that bitch, you know. But yeah, I think Santa's just, that's, I don't know if Santa's going to make it this year. I think he might have been taken over by, uh by Big Pharma. I wouldn't be shocked. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Santa's on the peptides. Everybody is. We all do things and try stuff to want to be different, feel different. Um, I'm just fascinated by the, uh, you know, I, I, I've known women who are driving down to Mexico to get Ozempic or Ozempic or whatever they got down there, you know. Oh, homie, you're going to be fucking skinny, homie. Dog, if you go to prison, you can just... Right between the bars, homie, you're out of there. Dog, they got nothing on you, dog. Yeah, the pe people didn't realize, like, Ozempic is just fucking... You're free, homie. Viva la revolucion, papa. Any Dufresne. They busted a lady with 60 grams of fake Ozempic over there outside of a vineyard vines. You know, and all we can do is pray for. Her, but still, it's this is real shit. It's interesting. It's an interesting, interesting uh phenomenon, is what it is. That's a damn phenomenon, you know. Uh and people are using it. And people are some people are using it healthily and some people are not, it seems like. Just like anything. You know, I had times in my life where I used steroids healthily, times where I used steroids unhealthily. 
You know, dude, I bought a buddy of mine who drowned. He drowned because he, well, he, he, uh, he was trying to hide from the police underwater. And you can't, you can do it, but you can only do it for about 40 seconds. And he drowned. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I, I bought some shit from him once steroids or something. I don't know what it was. Gave me a full body rash. Um, it made it hurt when I would blink my eyes. And if you've never had that, it's it, when you have, cause like every time my eye, my eyes would touch each other, it would like, uh, Because you don't realize how many times you blink your eyes and you're just like, oh, oh. So that shit was horrible. I had a full body rash, dude. That was crazy. My arms, they looked like I, like I had oven mitts on my hands. They were just, but I kept using the shit. I used all 11 weeks of it. And uh, yeah, it was, so we all try things. We all try sh stuff, you know. That was crazy. I can't believe I did that. Made me wet the bed at night too. And I was already wet in the bed. So it was just, it was just a lot, you know, it's just a real piss heavy time, baby. Praise God. Merry Christmas, guys. If you're low on time, then you've got to make the hours you've got a whole lot happier with Dash Pass from DoorDash. That's right. Everyone deserves to feel like a VIP. That's right. And with Dash Pass from DoorDash, you can. You can. Dash Pass is the one membership you need to get the most out of DoorDash and everyday life. Sign up for Dash Pass now and you'll get your first month free. That's right. Dash Pass members get $0 delivery fees and up to 10% off eligible DoorDash orders, including groceries, drinks, personal care items, and more. That's 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass with code THEO23. That's right, T-H-E-O, number two, number three. Subjects to change, terms apply. Sign up for more. Become a Dash Pass member today. You got to stay hydrated during the holidays. That's key, baby. If you ain't hydrated, you ain't nothing. You'll be looking for your own nuts in a damn forest, that's for sure. What I'm talking about is a liquid IV. It's what I use for hydration. I get the packet. It's a powder. You put it in the water. You mix it. That water tastes mm, it's the best. It's, it just tastes like hydration. It really does. That's when I use it. I use it after I go for a run. I use it when I get up in the morning. So I really just feel just, just moistened up. That's right. With three times the electrolytes of leading sport drink, no artificial sweeteners, and zero sugar. Contains eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness, non-GMO, and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Grab your Liquid IV Hydration Multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code THEO at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code THEO at liquidiv.com. Anyway, I love you. I know I'm almost all over the place. Uh, but it's just been a year, man. What a year. What a year. And thank you for listening to the to the podcast this year. And um, I really can't thank you guys enough. I can't thank you enough for just letting me be a part of your life. Or even if you don't even listen, fuck, even just keeping it in your thing and or just let me bother you, not be, be a part of your life, dude, like I'm some kind of damn, uh, you know, like I'm just some kind of, um, you know, like I'm athlete's foot or something. Just, uh, just thanks. Thanks for supporting me because you, you've you helped this, this whole, uh, we've gotten to do interesting stuff and talk to some unique folks. And I think because people have, uh, paid attention or tuned in or spent time since we've spent time together on here that we're going to get to have other unique people. And that's kind of crazy. Cause I don't dude. if I were me, I wouldn't, 
let these people talk to me, but they keep doing it. So, um, yeah, I'm excited and it's just been a, it's been a lot of fun and I hope it's been fun for you too. And, uh, yeah. And I just want you to know that I think about that. I think about making it, um, making it interesting and, and fun for you guys. And, um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just grateful, man. Uh, you know, and I feel a little bit happy about it too. I mean, I feel happy, but I just really, in my heart, I feel, I think just thankful, you know, that's what I feel like. Um, yeah, I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to explain how I feel and feel at the same time. And for me, that's always been kind of a tough thing to do. You know, it's tough sometimes to feel and explain how you're feeling at the same time. Um, but yeah, happy uh, holidays and Merry Christmas to you guys. And um, yeah, I just can't believe what a year do we got to talk to Hulk Hogan. That was crazy. And um, who else? Dude, Dana White. That was bananas and inspiring. Uh, who else, man? Stavros and um, uh, John Vervecki. Just interesting people, you know? Everybody. Drew, just Caleb Presley, man, who's a, well, just a dear friend of mine. Some of these people have become just, I don't know. It's just all been crazy. You know, and um, yeah, I, I I got off my medicine, man. I got off my medication. I was take I take Lexapro, and I, I I don't take a large dose. I think it was twenty, and I got down to ten, and then I'm off. And it's been interesting because I've had a lot more feelings, man. I've had a lot more feelings, and some of it I'm grateful for because I I was just not having any feelings. You know, I was just not having any feelings. Everything was kind of fine. You know, and. And so I just wasn't having any feelings. And so I was like, I need some feelings, man. Um, you know, I'm making sure that I have like, just have friends and stuff that know that I'm off of it. So uh, if anything seems too crazy. Um, so I'm just trying to let my feelings just kind of settle or just get back to like a baseline. So um, I'm hopeful about that. And... I've been making sure I do a lot of running and stuff to just keep my energy up. So, yeah, I just want to kind of have some freaking feelings. Dude, on 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 antidepressants, I don't have any feelings. People are like, hey, how do you feel? And I'll just be like, um, yeah, bruh, you know. I'm just not ha I'm just not having a lot of feelings, I think, on antidepressants. So I want to have some more feelings so then I can make some more decisions based on how I feel. Uh, so that's an, that, I think that's something that's really like a new adventure. Um, yeah, we've had a lot of beautiful calls and, uh, we're going to get into some of those. Um, yeah. What do we have here? This one says, what's up with the 12 days of Christmas right here? Let's hear it. Hey, Theo, it's Johnny B. John and Christmas is coming up and you know that song the 12 days of christmas where dude's giving his his woman a bunch of stuff and he in that song he gives his woman 17 birds mm -hmm. including six geese and i don't i don't think i don't think a woman wants 17 birds Bro, it's a euphemism, dog. It's a euphemism, man. That's what I'm saying, baby. They want that bait. They want that body bird, homie. That wainer. That skeet swan, baby. You know what I'm talking about? That fucking slurp warbler, dog. That's what they want. That red billed blast oriole, homie. You feel me? That skeet parakeet, homie. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, suck me off. Fuck, suck me off. Fuck, suck me off. 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 
That's what they talking about, baby. That bust mallard, homie, you feel me? That's what they, you know, so that's what you got to understand. It's a euphemism, man. This is a euphemism. They want that thing, baby. They want that yumming bird, dog. That nut neck body ostrich, baby. That bust mallard, homie. That's what they want. That's what they want. So you got to plan ahead there. All right, let's take another call. What up, Theo? This is Hunter. Um, I'm just calling. I've got a bit of a dilemma right now. Do tell, brother. Onward. Uh, recently, you know, I was making out with this girl, mm -hmm. and we was we was making out for probably you know one one minute, and I just busted a nut right there. Oh yeah. And I don't know what to do. So I was just calling to, to kind of get your guidance on that. And, you know, I'm just, just don't really know what to do. Oh, yeah, buddy. Well, look, that's just some nut, homie. That's all, you know, there's nothing. You're not a bad guy. You don't need to be scared or nothing. You're doing fine. Um, I think. You might, you know, who knows? If you if you were only making out, you might have a damn your pH balance might be off or something. You might have be, you know, be like a plus six or something. You, you know, you might want to get your damn levels checked or something, or at least have somebody do that on you while you look at a nudie mag or something. You know, because you know you want to make sure you're not just vibrating so much if you get around a you know a nipple that you're just uh you're just sprouting and creaming all the time for no reason you know just sprouting and creaming you know for just you know you don't want somebody to flip on a light switch in a distance and you fucking just just fucking put your own eye out with that with that bust Tommy that fucking bust but yeah you're doing fine, buddy. I think, yeah, you, you, your levels might be up or down or something. You might not have, you might, uh, could have been something you ate. You know, if sometimes if I have some, um, what are they called? Like zesty little, like a uh, little, um, piece of, it's like a green bean, but it's fucking, it's for violence. You know, it's like, um, uh, peppers, like a, uh, red peppers. You know, I'll shoot a robin off a fence, you know, if I if I start popping off after that. But um, you're probably going to be fine, buddy. And it's okay. I think God just wants to warn you. Says, hey, buddy, you're going to be really, you know, you're going to be on the front lines for us. Because you like to shoot. And just be careful. So, and second of all, I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you for ejaculating. You know, too many men feel ashamed when they eat jack or whatever. And you out here busting and creaming and creaming and busting over there with your lady. And it's that time of year, too. It's winter, dude. If you can't, if you ain't coming in the winter, buddy, what are you doing? You know, I don't think, you know, that's a winter sport, buddy. So you out there just, uh, just stirring your own eggs buddy do your shit daddy get out there and fucking get your shit boy bust out homie young killer but uh yeah brother i love you man and yeah you might just have that that extra energy in you 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 ever see somebody they rub their feet on the carpet and then they come up and fucking zap you like that that might be you boy you might just have you might just your your ph balance might be a little high so we want to get that shit checked out, buddy. Or have somebody take your pulse while you jerk off, you know, and see what happens to you, buddy. You're doing good, though. Love you, Daddy. Merry Christmas. Bells will be ringing. They say it's Christmas. They say it's Christmas. I love that. I love that season, man. Um... What else? Uh, 
Let's take a call that happens right here. Yo, uh, Mr. Vaughn. Man, on your recent podcast, you were talking about uh, you don't uh, you're afraid to talk about certain topics because you don't know enough. Man, you, you got to take that pressure off of yourself, man. I don't know nothing. I mean, I may even be cognitively deficient. I mean, I don't even know. You ain't got to know nothing, man. You just ask questions. You just have people on, ask questions. Do your solo episodes, just ask questions, man. You ain't got to know nothing. You're just... You're just throwing stuff out there, man. You're trying to figure it out like the rest of us, so don't worry about that, man. You just keep doing your thing. Don't be afraid. You um, you mean a lot to a lot of people, man. You're making a big impact, so the more courageous you can be, the more people will follow that, and that's what we need, so. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Uh, you know, um... You know, I think, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, 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 thank you, man. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, man. I, I know I'm trying, but yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah, I'm just being, I'm just, uh, just being a human. I'm just trying my fucking best, man. You know, most of the time, anyway, I don't know, sometimes maybe I'm even not. But yeah, I think I've just always felt so much pressure, man. I've always felt so much pressure to get it right. You better fucking get it right. You know. I've always felt like I wasn't, uh, like I had to get it right. Or there was no value to me or to to whatever, to whatever I was doing. It's like if it's not perfect, there was no value. And so I think that's still how I operate sometimes. Like I got to get everything perfectly. Yeah, and it's just impossible, man. And I'm tired of like, uh, yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, I just, I think I did need to hear something like that. Um, you better get it right. That's what I would always kind of feel like to myself. You better get this, you better, you better get this right. That's the voice inside of me. It never had any patience. It never had any patience with me. The voice inside of me never had any patience with me. Um, and then, and then, and you know what? I don't have a lot of patience with myself either, which is kind of both, which I deserve to have some more patience with myself. Yeah, I deserve to have a little more patience with myself. Um, yeah, so thank you, man. I, I think I needed to hear that. I do feel like I can't do it all. I do feel like I don't know what I'm doing. I do feel like I'm trying my best. I do feel like sometimes I'm doing okay. I do feel like sometimes I'm not doing okay. I feel like... Uh, Yeah, I feel like I'm also never going to live up to the expectations that I've set for myself because I set unrealistic expectations. Yeah, and I think I set unrealistic expectations because um, cause if I never meet them, then I'll always be not good enough. Yeah, yeah, thanks for just making me think about questioning myself, too. Just asking questions. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with if I don't know. There's nothing wrong with me. 
if I'm not perfect. There's nothing wrong with me, you know. It's okay. Um, yeah, I've just always put so much pressure on myself to be perfect. I've always put so much pressure on myself to be perfect. Man, yeah, shit makes me angry when I even think about it. Like, you better fucking be perfect. Or you don't mean anything, you know? that's It's some old story in my head or something. I'm not saying that right now to myself. I'm saying I'm trying to just feel that story, you know? You better... Yeah, like, if I can be perfect, I'll show them that I mean something. Yeah, if I can just do things perfectly, they'll see that I have value, you know, I think. And then you never can do things perfectly. It's impossible, right? And so then you're just, I'm always setting myself up to not feel good enough because I make my expectations of myself unrealistic. And so I can never achieve them. And so I'm always just not enough for myself, you know. Um, so thank you, bro. Thank you for that message. I, I yeah, I, yeah. It's like, man, I got to get this right, or I'm wasting everybody's time. That's how I feel a lot of times too. Uh, I think that's where I, I'm just trying to say where some of that pressure feels like to me. It's like. You're wasting everybody's time. Yeah, I wish you would. Yeah, I think it just, that goes back to old stuff for me or whatever. You're wasting everybody's time. You better get this right. Yeah, look, I, yeah, I, I, I uh, appreciate you just, yeah, saying that, man. I, I think sometimes I got to think about that stuff. And I, I this year has been, I think one thing that's been tough, I haven't had enough time to fucking think or feel shit. I just haven't had enough time to feel anything, man. Everything's just been so busy, and I think the world's just so busy now. You know? I mean, yesterday was one of the first times I went to an AA meeting at the end. I went to eat with the guys at the meeting because I had some time. I was like, I don't have anything to do. Fuck, I fucking enjoyed that. Yeah, sometimes we're so damn busy, we don't even fucking know. We don't, I don't even know myself. I'll get to the damn end of life and I'll sit there and be like, hey, who were, who were you, buddy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What'd you like to do? I'll finally start asking myself the question because I just jumped on the, on the, on the train. I just jumped, I just jumped on, on, on the zip line. Yeah, but thank you, man. Thank you for helping me think. Yeah, just ask myself questions, man. I used to love doing that, and I just... Yeah, and it, it, it's just important. We got another call that came in here. Let me see what we can do. Hey, Theo. Um, I was just wondering what, like, the thoughts in your head sound like. Because, like, mine... Mine sound like you. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, me and my best friend and her dad were talking about it, and... All of our thoughts sound like you. So I was just wondering what your thoughts in your head sounded like. All right, bye. Jesus loves you. Oh, thank you there, little lady, little kitty cat. Uh, Jesus loves me. Thank you. Well, I hope he does, and I hope he don't love me too much either. You know, some of these, they got these, uh, you know, these, you don't, some people like, gee, they don't know what Jesus is doing. They just, think he being kind of zesty or whatever out there but i don't know if i think that you know i just i love him and yeah i hope he loves me i hope he but yeah if he shows up and he's if he's a little too zesty i just wonder you know if he's like you know the last supper was fucking eh, you know i don't know i just yeah i, I love him uh yeah just tell him i love him and um and yeah, that, I don't know what the thoughts in my head. I don't know. My thoughts, a lot of times, I don't know what they sound like. 
Some of them are fucking pissed off, and some of them aren't even wearing anything. I'll tell you that. And, yeah, some of my thoughts, they just are, like, looking for me. That's what I feel like. My thoughts are looking for me, and um, I'm looking for them. But we're just, we can't do it. So, But, yeah, I love you. Thank you. All right, we got a call here. All right, so I got a question. My name's Big Willie, and uh, I was wondering. What's up, Big Willie? Let's hear more. I'm wondering. I'm trying to save up for a new dirt bike, but I don't know how to get some money. And I saw him just calling for that. Now, you know, you know what I'm saying? Get any tips for me? You know? All right, see. What? You're trying to, so thank you, Willie, for the call. Um. You're trying to save up for a new dirt bike, but you don't know, you don't have any money, and you're calling, you're wondering how to get some money. Get a job. I think get a job, homie. That's what I would do. I'd get a fucking job, Willie. That's how they do it. You get a job, they give you some money, you get a dirt bike, you get into an accident on your dirt bike, and you are in intensive care for a long time. And, uh... And that's how it works, man. That's how life works. So I think, yeah, you just got to stay on the path and fill out an application. Willie, praise God, baby. Good luck, bub. What do you call a person who speaks three languages? Trilingual, maybe? Someone who speaks two, that's bilingual. Someone who speaks one? American. Only 22% of Americans speak a language other than English at home. Start learning a new language this fall and be the exception, not the rule. Because with Babbel, you start speaking a new language in just three weeks. That's right. I've been using it to learn more Espanol. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars uh, for a private tutor or fooling yourself with language apps that are a little more than games, Babbel's quick 10-minute lessons are designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in as little as three weeks. Babbel is designed by real people for real conversations. All of Babbel's tips and tools for learning a new language are approachable, accessible, rooted in real-life situations, and delivered with conversation-based teaching. Here's a special limited-time deal for our listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only for our listeners at B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Theo. Get 55% off at babbel.com slash Theo, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash T-H-E-O. Rules and restrictions apply. Blue Chew, that's it. You want to feed yourself something that's going to help you get that wiener up. That's it, baby. The process is simple, Blue Chew. You sign up at bluechew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. That's right. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. Blue Chew wants you to have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. Chew it and do it. <sighs> And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code Theo at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W dot com. Promo code T-H-E-O to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. All right. Let's take one more call here, man. Um... Hey, what's up, Theo? My name's Trevor. I'm from Kentucky. What's up, Trevor, baby? T. Rever, baby. That's how you break that down. Onward. Uh, man, I just celebrated nine months of sobriety from drugs and alcohol, man. And my life's going great, you know. 
Let's go. Uh, it really, really is, man. I, I fell in love with a girl. Oh, come on. I don't know if she fell in love with me or not yet, hey, but we're going to see. That's that. Um, but I'm definitely in love with her. Let's go. And um, I don't know, man. I just wanted to, I just wanted to say that, man. Yeah. And uh, I'm thankful for you and your podcast, man. You bring a lot of light to a lot of people's lives. Oh, and, uh, man. Gang, baby, that's it. And Trevor got it, baby. Nine months, trinta y seis semanas, baby. That's thirty six weeks, daddy. Trevor got it, baby. Nine months. Let's go, T. Trevor. And you gotta say it, baby. Yes, yeah, say it. That's a part of this call I really uh, adapted with right here. Uh, but I'm definitely in love with her, and uh, I don't know, man. I just wanted to. I just wanted to say that, man. And uh, I'm thankful for you and your podcast. I just wanted to say that. That's the thing. Some yeah, I don't say things. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't even speak my own damn joy sometimes. I don't even let myself hear my own joy. Yes. Say that. Say that, man. You got nine months. You found somebody you like. That's powerful, Daddy. You hear that. You hear that, man. You hear that. Man, I'm just... Uh, let me think about any other... <clears throat> man, today's episode has been just all over the place, guys. I've had to start and stop a bunch of times. It's just been a, a tough time for me to get like a good flow going. You know, I just feel kind of rattled and that's okay. I feel, you know, uh, I don't know. It's okay. Everything's okay. It's okay. You know, it's okay. Um, it's been a fun year and, and I'm excited to see what next year could be like. And, and I hope that this holiday season is something that you, make nice for yourself. You know, I, I always re realize that, um, and I always forget too, that if I want the holidays or anything really to, to be special, I have to, I have to be a part of making it mean something, you know, uh, I need to show up. I need to be activated and, um, be a part of bringing the joy and not just expecting to, take the joy or receive the joy or I need to show up with some with something. It don't have to be a something, an item or something. I mean, sometimes it can be, but I need to, if something's going to mean something, then it, it'll mean even more if I show up with the idea that I'm going to make this mean something, you know? And that could be if you're going to take a ride with your child somewhere and do something nice with them or go shop. You know, or if you're going to spend some time with your loved one uh, and y'all are going to go do something and, you know, to just try and make a little extra effort to make it mean something. You know, a lot of times in my life I've had opportunities uh, to make things mean something and I'll, I'll, I'll choose to kind of just be a curmudgeon or be quiet or try not to have fun. Sometimes I, I get afraid to have, to be a little bit more joyous, you know? Um, you know, so I think that's something that I wish for this holiday season uh, is that if you're like me sometimes when there's a chance to be, to joke or to have, sometimes I'll just get a, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of shut down or I want to, you know, if somebody else asked me to do something, I won't want to do, you know, I only want to kind of do my ideas. You know, it's like, so I just hope that this holiday season, I'm going to try to be a little bit more like if somebody else, you know, I'm going to just try to go with the flow and and help the flow have a stronger current, you know, with my own attitude. That's really what I mean.
I'm going to try that, you know, because it helps me too. It helps me when I get outside of myself a little bit, you know, and um, yeah, so I'm going to try that a little bit more this year. That's something that I'm going to look forward to do. Um, yeah. So in, instead of just continuing to ramble, I just, um, yeah, I want to try to show up a little bit more this Christmas and be a part of the joy a little bit more. And even if the game is on, do things that are engaging with people I care about. Take a walk with somebody or fucking tickle some little bitch. I don't care. Do something that is, uh, you know, I just want to try to contribute a little bit more this year if I can. That's one of my Christmas wishes for myself. Um, yeah. And that's it, dude. And that's really, really it, bro. Silver bells. Silver bells, it's Christmas time in the city. Um, yeah, I don't know. I got a bunch more things on my mind, but I think I just, I, I, I just, I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I think I just, I think I'm just gonna just sign off for the year, man. You know. Just sign off for the year we've done. It's been it's been quite a year, you know, and just I'm glad we got to be alive this year together. And um, yeah, yeah, I really am. Um, and that's all I got. Sorry to just keep dragging it. I kind of it's kind of like the end of a date. I feel like a little bit. You don't know where you want it to. You know, like. You're like just standing in the yard kind of talking, but and nobody kind of knows what's going to happen or whatever. Um, so that's a little bit how I feel. But that's exciting because that's a little bit of energy that's like kind of fun, you know. And so that's a good way to close things out, man. Um, I want to let you know, as always, the hotline is 985-664-9503. Um, and yeah, just thank you so much for being a part of my life and and uh, for letting me be a part of your life. Um, thank you to our producers, uh, Zach and Nick and Ben and Colin, um, for helping get this show done every year, um, every 52 times a year, week, every week. And um, yeah, thank you guys. And... Uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of it. I'm just fucking rambling. I don't know. I had an impossible biscuit or something like seven hours ago, and then I just been having some uh, Celsius. So I'm basically, I'm just like everybody else. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's to you guys. And um, yeah, thank you for being in part of my life and let me be a part of yours and and uh and i love you and i look forward to seeing you guys in the new year i'm upstairs be good to yourself baby gang Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Merry Christmas, honey. 